Here is the double angle identity, which you may have memorized. But why? Why does it work? Let us begin with a rectangle. Now we'll split the rectangle into two with a horizontal line. Split each of the two resulting rectangles into two along their diagonals, like so. The original rectangle has been split into four identical triangles. You can see that its area is twice the area of the shaded triangle on the right. Now let's find an expression for the area of the rectangle on the left. We'll say that the diagonals each have a length of 1. We now have a scale by which to measure the side lengths. The height of the rectangle is 2 sine theta and the width is cosine theta. So the area of the entire rectangle is 2 sine theta times the cosine of theta. Now we'll do the triangle area. The area of the triangle is one half of the base times the height. But the height is the sine of two theta. But the area of the two triangles is the same as that of our original rectangle. Thus the two expressions must be equivalent. Therefore, the sine of two theta equals two times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta. Now, can you generalize this method into the angle sum identity? Post your solutions in the comments.